this was a chain pull that I was helping somebody learn the technique for and the colors chosen were just a little too bright yellow and green for me. So once again, I'm going to cover this up while possibly potentially keeping some of that color shining through. Let me use up a little bit of my um, this is what I have left of the light blue that I was painting with the sky blue that jar is had it until I peel till it dries and I peel the paint out. Just gonna cover the canvas. Boop, boop. And again, I'm okay. With some of that under pattern shows through. Now there is silicone in that light blue color, not in the others, but there's enough in the light blue that it's gonna cause all of it to sell up. Again, since my canvas isn't white, I'm not too concerned about that because that green showing through can only add interest. Now, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to torch it, get a couple of the bubbles out. what happens with those bits of green and yellow poking through. Turn out pretty cool. Now on this painting I'm just playing around with flowering branches. I'm just doing a few little tree-y branchy things. So, whoops, not black. Brown. Better to be brown. This is already mixed with Floetrol, it's just a burnt umber, really dark tube paint I had that I stirred and 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 stirred. I'm going to... I'm doing stylized here, this is not meant to be realistic. It's just meant to be... That's a little too clean though. Kind of a background. And a pretty little balloon smash flowers. My neighbor has decided at this time of the evening that he's going to do tractor things outside, so I hope that's not too distracting. I don't even think that's my neighbor. That's actually probably my husband. Yep, it's too close to be the neighbor. That's my husband weed eating. And he knows I'm in here, in my studio, <laughs> which is right off the back deck. But that's okay. That's a little too much. I'm scraping it right off the side. Now this paint layer is pretty thick. But that's okay, because, again, we're just going to use that, well, that one, I don't like that. And we're going to make some blossoms. Not Mayim Balik blossoms. Balik, Balik, Mayim, you know, blossom. All right. I'm going to do a few little puddles. I'll do some more. Just these for now. 
little, oh, let's do, this is metallic pink that I made. Lovely sound he's making out there. But I can't shut my window because it's really kind of warm in here. But I'm gonna do a little this is a just a rose gold. I don't have any silicone in these, however, the under layer of blue in the silicone might actually do some, I don't know. All right, got my rag to wipe off with. I got this little balloon that I didn't blow up all the way. I'm gonna try it a couple different ways. I'm just gonna squash it in, squash it in. Do a side. Whoa, that just picked everything up. That was not a good idea. Squash it. Squash it. Squash it. Squash it. Hmm. See if there's. Hmm. Helps take the cap off. That is annoying. I mean, what the heck? It's just taking up too much. Misty flowers. Okay, so this was not working, not even a little bit. The balloon kept pulling. I don't know if I had too much puddle on there or if my balloon was somehow not inflated perfectly, properly, or what, but 
this was not working. So I decided to try using my little mini blower and blowing out blossoms in there, which made it, I feel like, even worse. So <clears throat> the rest of this video is, is going to show you how I let this mess dry and then went in and uh, painted in my flowers because I was just tired of trying 500 different ways of making my canvas messier and messier. So anyway, I hope you enjoy.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more art content. Hit that little bell if you want to be notified when my next videos go up. There's also a link below to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined, as well as links to my art web page and my Facebook art page. I hope you're staying safe and have a great day.